We don't know the status yeah. of Francois. I mean, doctors got to look at it. MRI has to take place. And so really it's kind of like a twofold thing with them or without them. They got to find a way to rebound from this. Well, no doubt about it. But what I saw is a Florida State team that was toe-to-toe -to -toe with Alabama at halftime. The score was 10-7. to And then in the second half, they started to make a lot of errors. And they compounded those errors one after another. And now it went from 10-7 to to 21-7. to If I'm Jimbo Fisher, I tell my team really simple. We're one of the best teams in the country. Yes, if we lose DeAndre Francois, it's going to hurt. But we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the almighty Alabama, and we were right there. I got to give this team some confidence. They will be there in the end, regardless of whether or not Francois can finish. But Florida State's a good team. They just ran up against a team that didn't make as many mistakes tonight in Alabama, especially in the second half. They played with Alabama pretty tough through a half. Yeah. They, they had a kick block. They dropped, uh, dropped a kickoff return. Two they interceptions. Gave them, gave them 14 points yeah. right there. Quarterback gets hit 10 times mm -hmm. and knocked out. All that said, you know, the next guy steps up, and, and this is the message that he has to impart to his team. Well, you have to. That's what a coach does because you got a lot of guys, 84 other scholarship guys looking at you like, what are we going to do? They still got 11 more games left, and Florida State has plenty of talent. We didn't see much of the young running back Cam Akers. He is a special player, so they have other guys that can make plays. I sure hope this young man is okay, but if he's not, the train rolls on, Kenny. That's, just, that's football. That's part of it.